It's not a new jacket, it's my computer building jacket. We're gonna build Pistol, a PC, because uh, she moved to the East Coast and that's just what's happening. Thanks to our sponsor, SCD Key. You get like one offer a month from different CD Key resellers. I usually say no, but I gotta fess up, guys. I've actually used these guys twice now to buy Windows 10 keys. SCD Key buys them themselves. You're not getting it from a third party who's selling it on their website like you do with some other services, but you guys can get Office for a good price and get them bundled together and save even more. Now check this out. Go over here and hit buy now and use the coupon code TECH18. It's gonna bring the price down to $13.69. Again, that's TECH18. You can use that also with this. This is Office and Windows 10 Pro together. Hit TECH18. And now you can get both of them for $35.66. But one thing I do know is when you hit start and type activate, and you come over here, this has already been activated, but you just change product key, paste the key that they're gonna give you right in here, hit next. If it does not activate, you can email them because they do guarantee the products that they sell you. So you can email them and they will make sure that they get you a good key. Uh, one thing I wanna encourage everybody to do is they put right down here on the bottom, the trust pilot score. So you guys can click over here and look through uh, all the different reviews even if there's some one one you know one star five star read them you know go ahead and read these reviews see what you think but the bottom line for me is i got to be pragmatic and at the end of the day this is a whole lot better than a kms activator for a lot of people to complain they're the same people who crack windows so i've been using these services to get the inexpensive windows keys so go ahead and check them out it's scdkey.com and again that promo code is tech 18. we decided to get together and upgrade her pc uh, because she's still doing some editing for us. She's going to be editing this video that you're watching right now. Probably put a bunch of really cool stuff in there that's beyond my ability to comprehend because I'm so freaking old now. Let's just get started and uh, talk about all the crazy things we're putting into this machine. Now, first off, you guys can see that big, beautiful 680X case. It's uh, sort of a double wide case. Well, it's not double wide. There's two chambers you've got your regular case and then there's like an extra section on the side to separate out your power supply and your hard drives uh, and all of that so your core components are not going to get the heat bleeding into them from all those things we have like a you know a nice air chamber on this side and we also have some of the rgb ll series fans from corsair all in the front giving it that pretty rgb lit up look all right now let's talk about cpu so everyone's all hyped about the new Ryzen CPUs, right? And so am I. But there's still a king when it comes to gaming, and that is what Pistol's gonna be using this for. Uh, mostly, probably gaming and streaming. And the 9900K is not the value winner, but overall, it is the king for gaming. And sometimes, you know, everyone's like going crazy about the Ryzen stuff. Sometimes the Delta is like, you know, not that much, like five, six FPS, but in some games it may be 20 FPS. Um, so I'm not really going to overclock this thing because it's already it already turbos up to 5 gigahertz. So we're going to leave it at that. But it is a beast of a CPU and it's the one we've chosen for this. Also, I really like a lot of the ASRock Phantom Gaming stuff. We did a build uh, with the Z390 Phantom Gaming 9 motherboard. And I liked it so much that we decided to get another one for this build. Um, and we went all out with the, with the rest of the Phantom Gaming stuff. So this motherboard, you've got three M.2 slots. You've got three... Uh, of the reinforced PCI Express slots. We're only gonna be using one large graphics card in here. There's room for others or, you know, whatever else. We're gonna put a capture card in this one to occupy another one of those slots. The power delivery system on this, as you guys can see here, is really nice and clean. It's like top of the line stuff from ASRock. So that's one of the main reasons I wanted to use this board. Also, she probably won't even be using this, but we have multiple uh, ethernet ports on the back. Anyway, if you guys want more information on this, you should go watch the Phantom Gaming uh, build that we did. Now for the graphics card, just keeping the 1080 in there. We're thinking about upgrading to like a 2070 or 2080, but you know what? The 1080 is is good for now, especially with the 9900K. Not feeling too much of a huge need to upgrade. Plus, this is the Galax Hall of Fame Edition, which is one of the fastest, if not the fastest, uh, GTX 1080 cards. And the next upgrade she'll probably do, well, it'll be a graphics card, but maybe like the generation after the one we're on right now. All right, so we got the RGB going on with the LL fans in the front. How about some RGB with our RAM? Now, this is the Team Group T-Force Excalibur RAM, and the version you're seeing on the screen here is not the version I'm putting in there. We're going with all the Phantom Gaming stuff, so I actually traded her some of her Corsair RAM uh, for this T-Force Excalibur RAM, and we popped that in there so she could have the RGB and also keep with the Phantom Gaming theme. It's uh, the 3200 megahertz version, the 4000 here is what's on the screen. If you guys want to grab that one, it's 
one step even better, but 3200 is pretty much uh, fine for this system. And uh, we're going with 32 gigabytes of that. So we're gonna get two 16 gigabyte kits and pop those in there so she can have 32 gigs. And that's gonna be pretty much all you're gonna need for Premiere and stuff. If you're doing 3D, maybe wanna get 64. All right, the hard drive setup here is, um, it's ill-advised and, and ridiculous and asinine. I have no idea why she has so many hard drives other than the fact that every time we build a new system, we just cannibalize the old hard drives from that one. I'm like, we'll just put all these in here too. And that's what we've done again. So the operating system, we didn't need to reinstall Windows, didn't want to have to reinstall all the programs. So we kept the Samsung XP941 that's already in there. Uh, it's not the fastest M.2 on the planet, but it's still a hell of a lot faster than a regular SSD. Um, and it's going to be okay for Windows and it has a really, uh, really good randoms. And that's one of the main things for Windows. Like the, the sequential read and write are good, but you wanna look for something that's really fast when it comes to random read and writes. And the IOPS on this are 120,000. So that's good. So for uh, backup drives, you know, like just maybe installing Skyrim with mods, cause that's one of the only games it really needs uh, an M.2, but you know, like video files and just stuff that's being edited and all that sort of thing. Uh, you need some fast storage for that. Now, the one thing I like about the MP300, this is like 1600 megabytes per second. Uh, you know, guys know there's like some super fast stuff out there, but for doing like video work, uh, this is totally going to get you by unless you're working with like raw 4K, then you might want to step up. But this is completely fast enough. Most people are not going to notice the difference in this and the super fast one. And the price, you get 960 gigabytes for 127 bucks. So I really like the MP300 for that. Also, 240,000 IOPS. That's very eye-opening. Also, we have around a 500 gigabyte OCZ drive in here. Came from the other system. There's a Corsair one terabyte SSD in here. Just a regular one terabyte SSD. What do you got on there? Huh? People in the comments, what do you think is on all these hard drives? We also have a three terabyte HGST NAS drive. These things are rock solid. They'll probably last through nuclear into the world. They'll, they'll be the roaches and the HGST NAS drives and that'll be about it. Got one of those in there. Also, we have one of these. This is the newer version. We didn't put the brand new version in there, but you guys don't want to buy the old version. You want to buy the new version, but yeah, we got a three terabyte Seagate Barracuda. Yes. So there's that in there. It's ridiculous. All right, now let's get down to uh, cooling and all that sort of thing. So the Coolmaster Liquid ML240R um, is a beast, but it's also decently quiet and it has RGB. Uh, it's the Phantom Gaming model that you guys can see here on the screen. It's actually a really good price for that. So keeping with that Phantom Gaming theme, we went with that, but we're not, you know, keeping with the theme doesn't mean we have to skimp. This is still extremely high quality. I put it up against just about any of the, the all-in-one units out there on the market. And that is gonna keep the 9900K completely nice and happy. All right, so when she's streaming uh, from an external source, like a console or something like that, it's nice to have a capture card. And we got the Elgato Gaming HD60 Pro in there. That's uh, 1080p and 60 frames per second, which is um, nice to have. Also hardware H.264 encoding, uh, which is gonna make things look better while you're streaming. You don't want it to look crappy, do you? Anyway, it's gonna also re remove some of the load from your system, so the you know encoding happening on the actual um, hardware means that your games are not gonna take a dip in uh, in frame rate because the CPU is doing the rendering. It's not, it's rendering right cha. All right, and for the power, we've got a bit of an overkill here uh, with the power, but you know, the system is a beefy system and there's gonna be room for, uh, you know, room for upgrade. So this is the 1000 watt Fractal Design Newton R3 power supply. It's semi-modular, your main set of cables comes out of the back and then everything else is modular. And one thing I like about this is we're not gonna be running it at like, you know, crazy ridiculous wattages. We're gonna be running it somewhere in the middle there. Uh, and that's usually the efficiency sweet spot. So we're trying to find that and then run it at that. But 82 plus platinum certified efficiency. So nice, nice thing there. And I'm gonna send her one of these Phoenix Swift mice. I don't think she'll use it because she usually uses a, an MMO mouse, but for FPS, this is better. One more thing I want to say about this case is it's it's really roomy and it, it's a bit large, but this thing was so easy to build in because, well, the size, number one, but also just the layout. You have this big empty chamber over here uh, that you can really just put whatever you like in there. There's room for mods and stuff if you wanted. And then as far as like cable routing and stuff on the back, we have a huge area. So we're not trying to cram things in there. We don't have to like slam the side panel on and then run and hope it doesn't blow up or whatever. It's, it just It just works. 
So I really enjoyed building uh, in the 680X case. If you guys have room for this, I would highly recommend it. All right, so that's not that's not the entire computer, right? I'm kind of curious as to what she's doing. So, so Pistol, um, what else do you have going on there? And uh, how are you liking the rig? How do I like the rig? I love the rig. There's no noticeable hit while I'm streaming pretty much any game, and it renders extremely fast, and Premiere stays responsive. Which, as an editor, you can't really ask for much more than that. Here's the rig itself and all of its purple, glowy, gloriousness. Uh, I know it's on carpet. Don't worry, this case is very good at keeping out dust, though I do plan on getting a stand for the tower eventually. And there you can kind of see the inside of it a little bit. Got a nice uniform purple glow. And if you're wondering what's on top of it, I have a tripod for my webcam for when I'm streaming. This is a temporary setup but it works for now. There's my wireless router, my stream deck. I'll give you guys a little desk tour while I'm here. Here's my keyboard. It's the Corsair K50. It's really nice for streaming. It's quiet, non-mechanical. Here's my mouse. It's the Logitech G600. And my mouse pad is the Fennec mouse pad, of course. Very nice, highly recommend. Here's the microphone that I use. It's the Audio-Technica 2020, pretty standard for Twitch streamers. And my secondary monitor is the famous Shimian, and my main is a curved LG ultrawide. And then I have my Elgato key light, which I love. So that's currently my setup. That's amazing. It's great. I'm glad you took the best computer that we have all the way across the fucking country. I hope you enjoy your 9900K. I'm not bitter. Cheer me up and spend money on our products, like this shirt of Steve Jobs and Paul Wa I mean, uh, uh, Steve Wozniak. I almost called him Paul Wozniak over here. <laughs> Sorry, Paul Allen. Yeah, it's really them on the t-shirt. Whatever. All right, it's the end of the video. Actually, Steph will say the last words and end it in any way she sees fit since she's the editor. Bye.